In this video, we're going to talk about podcasts. Right now, I'm looking at iTunes, and it's the latest version of iTunes, iTunes 12. And you can tell that because the icon is now red instead of blue. Now, normally, you would think of iTunes as a music store. You'd go and see the latest music and download through the iTunes store any music that you purchase. But what I want to show you is that there is also what's called a podcast section. If you don't know what a podcast is, it's basically like an internet radio show that's constantly updated and there is what's known as a feed or a subscription that you have with any given podcast. So you can receive the latest version whenever it's published. So what I want to show you is a little bit about podcasts and, and how you would subscribe to them in iTunes. Now you can go through the iTunes store and click on any one of these and you can subscribe to them and they'll be added to your podcast list. But you might discover a podcast from a website. So for instance, if I go to my Safari web browser, NPR has a few podcasts that you can subscribe to. So let's choose Fresh Air and get down to the way that you would actually subscribe to this. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do it. You may be given a real simple button to click on. So if I click on iTunes, it should tell me that it's going to go to the iTunes program. And if it's already open, it'll pop forward. I can choose subscribe. And it asks you if you're sure. I'll say subscribe. And then it will be added to my podcasting list. If I click on my podcasts, I should see the podcasts that are available to me and right now all we have well we've got some other ones but we have the NPR program listed here if I want to subscribe to a podcast what we call manually and you might be given a link uh, to a podcast feed now this is the link to the feed and it looks like a standard web address it starts with HTTP and so on I'm gonna copy that and just open up a new tab in Safari and then I'll paste that link. Safari doesn't necessarily know what to do. It kind of knows what it is. It, it recognizes it as a feed, uh, what's called an RSS feed, but there is no application associated with this with Safari. I could go and find a feed reader, um, but that's we don't really care about that because we don't really necessarily want to see anything in this in this space. What we want to do is go back to iTunes and I'm simply going to go to the file menu and choose subscribe to podcast. Now before I do that I want to go back and get rid of my podcast that's that's here so that we do this all over again. So I'll click on the NPR Fresh Air program. I'll right click and choose delete and say delete again and I'll move all the files to the trash and then I'll go back to the file menu choose subscribe to podcast I'll paste in that URL, click on OK, and it recognizes that as a iTunes or a podcast feed, and I'm ready to listen to it. And it's actually downloading the first uh, or the latest program that is available on the Fresh Air program. If you want to see more of what's available on that feed, you can click on the feed button, and you'll see all the shows going back several weeks or months even and you can download any one of these so it goes all, all the way back to October 11th and you can click on the cloud download icon and you can actually download any of these uh, episodes that you are interested in listening to so that is how you subscribe to an iTunes feed manually thanks for watching